final installment of the accelerated learning series. So this is the thing that I actually live streamed. Um, so right now I'm just gathering research and stuff like that of the illustration and the content. You know, I'm gathering things of existing water park stuff and I'm going to combine it with Mario, uh, like a Mario Land kind of thing. And um, yeah, now I'm starting to do a sketch. So basically I was thinking of doing something with pipes and maybe like a Mario Castle and stuff because I've seen people do it. Um, so I'm doing that out, doing some compositional lines and stuff like that. And this is the, the final sketch you see. As, even though it's really rough, um, it was based on an actual photo of a uh, existing thing. So I know the composition is solid because it can be real. And now I'm putting in like scenic elements of uh, Bowser and stuff like that and like pipes and uh, giant landmarks and uh, some signage now some set dressing and materials and color so I, I really like where it's going so far um, I'm not really sure uh, it was kind of exciting at this stage I, I don't know how it's gonna come together but I did like the elements it did seem fun and everything I felt was buildable oh I put that giant Venus flytrap thing on the thing I thought that was I thought that would be like really fun and cool to have like a really giant one and uh, here's a Yoshi egg and, a ba and uh, one of those bullets and I was having a hard time placing the bullet to be honest and now I'll put some flags in to kind of lead the eye because that was on my original sketch so this time I actually printed out a sketch and um, I had it on my desk like a physical copy so I can review it at all times and um, I actually uh, didn't record the second part of the video, so I'm just doing this off YouTube, which is why it looks like it's lagging and stuff. But uh, I just want to say, one of the most important parts of the live stream, I think, was that it made me commit to finishing it. Because if I didn't do the live stream, I probably wouldn't have bothered to finish the Donkey Kong illustration, and I probably wouldn't have tried so hard to finish this Mario illustration. Um, so, yeah. I'm because there was a lot of times I wanted to just give up and not do it not do it so again this is like um, I'm screenshotting this from the YouTube video which is why this part is much slower so appreciate your patience so yeah so what am I doing now so I put a peach princess peach cosplay in there I thought it'd be fun you know because people do real life peach princess peach cosplay and I put in a, a person taking a photo because you know at anime expo and stuff you know you're taking pictures of people cosplaying all the time and um, yeah, I also put some stuff in for the flooring if you see that. When I was putting in some photo reference of kids playing in water parks, I noticed like the floor, I think it's rubber. This way it's like non-slip. So I made sure to include that in there. And uh, you can see that I put some kids in there from like just photo bash. Oh, I put some water on the thing. So it's like when the Venus flytrap thing pops out of the tube, water comes out. I've seen that at Legoland before and I'll and be pretty cool. Now I was looking for kids wearing bathing suits. It looks kind of like wrong, but I was honestly just trying to find photo reference. <laughs> and uh, I already put a palm tree in on the left. You can see that. Uh, it's just a shadow. I saw that from a photo reference as well. Um, oh, I switched the Mario and Bowser thing. Um, yeah, and I was thinking of putting some signage on the bottom, but it didn't really work out. I thought it might be cool. Um, oh, I put stars next to the Mario world. Did you notice that? Oh, and I put some Venus flytrap things. So that would be a sculptural element next to the flat castle element. So I'm thinking of, of like how to build things as well. And at this point, um, I think I was like two hours in. I only had like an hour left, less than maybe half hour. So I was just trying to finish it up, put some people silhouettes in there and stuff. So I think the finishing part is was really a, a struggle for me because um, usually I just kind of refine until I, I've, I'm satisfied. But here it's like I just have to finish it. So um, just then I was just doing a rubber texture on the ground just for some texture and then I did some color adjustments so the castle would pop out more. Uh, before it was red, now it's more like a cool blue. And now I'm doing kind of like an Instagram filter. I'm doing filters and stuff. Now I'm doing unsharpened mask. Um, so pretty cool. It kind of, I think it brings everything together. It makes it a little bit more cohesive. And when I get a chance, I try to uh, make it so the focal point pops out a little bit more. Um, kind of erase out a little bit. So I'm liking where it's going so far. When I look back at this, I notice there's a little bit of tangent with the... Uh, the, the Venus flytrap thing on the top right, but you know, whatever. But overall, I think it communicates the ideas really well. I see how water sprinkling out, like it's moving, so it's mechanical, so it would be really cool. I, th I think this would be a really fun concept.
positive thing is I finally finished my accelerated learning experience experiment the fact that I started something and I finished it yay applause for me you know that's something I'm proud of and of course I I finished my goal I did this in all three hours that's basically a 10 times improvement you know usually I spent like 8 to 30 to maybe 50 hours um, trying to do a painting and here I can do you know a rough painting within three hours and I'm really happy a lot of my friends are able to do paintings but I always did like this like line art grayscale color sketch final and it was just really slow and I wanted something more fun you know I wanted to crank out ideas have more fun with it and I really it was really fun to have happy accidents it was some there's some stuff that um, when you do digitally that you can't really do like with like pen and paper and vice versa and it was really fun to explore the happy accidents you can get uh, with digital uh, photo bashing um, in terms of the negative, I was kind of tired, my hands were cold just because I did this caricature event uh, in the morning for uh, two and a half hours and I uh, had to go to sleep early that night because um, and I had to do this for three hours and I have a new job today so I was just really tired but overall I'll get stronger over time you know. In terms of what I learned um, it was to tr before I would treat illustrations as uh, you know like an end product but now it's not really so much of an end product I treat it like a process or a workflow you know or performance you know and uh, now I'm analyzing these using uh, positive negative what I learned and so I can just improve and this is much more interesting to me than just cranking out good illustrations but creating these videos of the process of the illustration is really interesting and really fun to me and overall I really like that um, I learned about using intuition and good design and happy accidents with this um, when you're working um, you know I guess traditionally using pen and paper there are some I guess I don't know you could do it both now I'm like yeah use your intuition it's good you know intuition is good and um, lastly break down each part of the process so mind is more relaxed so I broke down each um, when I was doing this I had a piece of paper um, Tim Ferriss called it a cafe, which is kind of like you condense all the information on a single sheet of paper and like research was broken down to uh, research content and research illustration type and sketch was pretty simple, just do a compositional sketch. Paint, um, I had four basically basic things. It was scenic, which was the environment. It was a ride vehicle, you know, which was on the Mega Man ride and stuff and uh, people and uh, props. You know, and that was stuff to paint. And in terms of polish, I followed like a workflow too, which was um, like an Instagram filter with a vignette color and the blurring, uh, unsharpened mask, and um, let me see what else. But yeah, yeah, you know, kind of pretty. That's pretty much it. So yeah, had a great time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do more of these. All right, see you next time on Project Life Coach. Bye bye.